I first saw these scent doctor perfumes on um, the website, I think it's called Beauty beauty.com or something i will put a link to it but it's the place that i always get my sarah jessica parker perfumes from and uh, i i was just kind of looking through there and i did my classic arrange you know price low to high and two of the scent doctor ones came up so there's liquid sunshine and tuberose are the ones that they have on their site um if you can see this because it's just getting a bit of a glare on it so they were 9 99 each for a 100ml of Eau de Parfum. I thought they looked kind of interesting, so I was like, okay, interesting, okay, maybe I'll try those. Um, so I sort of had them in the back of my mind, and then when I did a search on um, Google for them, because they don't, they're not on for a grand occur, annoyingly, this one, Sherry Mo Mola, uh, came up on Amazon for like £6.70 or something like that. So I was like, okay, well, I've got Prime. I'm just going to get that and try it. It's not really much of a loss if I don't like it. And I absolutely loved it. And so because I loved this one, I decided to get these other ones to try as well. Uh, these are still in the box, so it's probably telling you that these aren't going to stay with me right. But so I'll start with Cherry, uh, Sherry Mola, which is the one that I really love. Um, this I've already worn this for a whole day I wore it to work um, absolutely loved it so the notes in this mm -hmm. top notes so these are from the actual website now these are 28 quid on the website so don't get them from the actual scent doctor website unless you want the ones that you can't get anywhere else like definitely worth googling these to find the best price so top notes are apple pear uh, sherry moya and cinnamon Middle notes are passion flower, ylang ylang, and jasmine. Base notes are tonka bean, balsam, woods, and musk. So, sherry, uh, sherry moya look like little cherries. They are also, I know them as it turns out, as Barbados cherry. Um, so they're not like they have a little bit of a cherryish vibe going on, but they're very kind of citrusy and bright and zingy. Um, so I think that they haven't got that same kind of depth and sweetness as an as a regular like cherry, but they look like cherries. They kind of look like a paler, um, sometimes with a bit of yellow and white mixed in, those kind of cherries, that's what they look like, but they're quite big. Um, and this just smells like a fruity heaven. I can definitely get a bit of that cinnamon. I'm getting definitely some apple, pear, I'm getting a lot of the uh, Sherry Moya, obviously. Oh, it's lovely. Passion flower, definitely. I don't really get much jasmine. A tiny bit of ylang ylang. There's quite a lot of tonka bean. This is sweet. Um, and as I said when I wore it, I, there's a slight balsamicness to it, but very, very minor. Um, and not much wood at all. It's just very fresh, fruity, and joyous, and I really, really like it. I think if you, it's, it's a skin, it's definitely a skin scent. You, it's not like super, super light, but it's not like a projecting kind of perfume. It's very much for you to enjoy, you know. And I think that's the idea of these perfumes. I think the idea is that they are for you to enjoy. They're like to cheer you up, to make you feel good. And actually, although I don't believe that it's for any kind of pseudo scientific reasons this did make me feel cheerful because I just find a really nice fruity perfume always makes me feel quite cheerful. Um, so that's that one. Now, okay, so this is liquid sunshine. Like sunshine, perfume, blah, 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 change of mood. Made in the UK. Oh yeah, made in Britain. Okay, so these are British perfumes. So all the other perfumes from this uh, house seem to come in white bottles um oh okay putting it straight out there i really don't like this this one i i am a bit baffled to be honest by liquid sunshine i don't understand it at all so this says it's a beach holiday in a bottom bottle mandarin blossom combined with ginger opens a seductive fragrance with white flowers in the heart drying down to a musk and sandalwood base um something about vitamin d blah 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 so top notes mandarin blossom ginger and bergamot uh, middle notes white flowers cassis and lily base notes sandalwood amber powdery musks and i just think this smells like a cleaning product i think it's horrible 
you know what it is it smells weirdly like a really rubbish version of one of the clarins ones um there's a very gingery clarins like treatment fragrance but this just is unpleasant i really really don't like it i do get i get citrus and ginger but then there's something about it that honestly just smells fully like a cleaning product to me um i hated it on my skin i hate it from the bottle i really do not like this one and i don't think it's got a nice sandalwood in, in it either i i just i just don't it just was not happening for me that one at all so i was not into it now this one though i was very excited about tuberose and i'm very sad that it's not one i can keep now um this is tuberose but it has a, a cocoa note and i was like oh my god could it be more perfect for me i love cocoa okay so this one has a silver lid so maybe they've all just got different colored lids um okay i'm gonna spray a bit of this on too and then maybe try and work out what it is that doesn't sit right on me because it really doesn't sit right on me okay so tuberose Mm, okay now talks about modern femininity blah 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 okay top notes peach and bergamot oh oh i've instantly worked out what it is middle notes tuberose jasmine iris and almond base notes coffee cacao tonka beans sandalwood and vanilla oh i don't like that peach <laughs> it's a really easy one to start with i don't like the peach i don't like the jasmine but when that starts drying down, you get a little bit more of the tuberose. And then you really start getting the tonka bean, the cacao and the almond. Little hint of coffee. Bit of vanilla. It's very pretty. Once it dries down and you get like less of that disgusting peach Ugh. Um, I'm so fussy about peach guys like I mean I might not be the best person to listen to about anything that has peach uh, and anything that's even slightly rosy in it but the peach is ugh. but this is one of those perfumes that for some reason on my skin dries down to smell like antiseptic and I just I still not sure it doesn't say it's got musk in it It doesn't really smell like antiseptic on here although I, again i'm not really i don't like the sandalwood they've got in these two perfumes they it smells more like cedarwood to me and i think that's probably part of the problem it's not a sandalwood that i enjoy and i do quite like sandalwood but i like a creamy powdery sweet sandalwood i, I don't like sandalwood where it smells where, where it starts to lean into the kind of cedar and i think that's like I don't know like I always thought that was a synthetic um, sandalwood that I didn't enjoy but I don't know maybe there's just different types but I get yeah I get a hint of that kind of sandalwood that I don't like on the on the paper but on my skin oh my god it was just it just started to smell like antiseptic and that I don't think is just like this perfume because I get that with quite a few perfumes like I've had at least 10 now that I've liked but then on my skin smell awful and they specifically start to smell like TCP so there's something in certain perfumes that just does not work with my chemistry at all but I think this is nice this one I wouldn't bother with I think it's horrible this one is fabulous um but this is this is interesting it's pretty I definitely get just like that hint of sweet cocoa which I love I'm really sad that I can't wear this one because I would be so into like tuberose and cacao because I have like one of my absolute favorite perfumes is the uh, Vera Wang Embrace um I think it's what's it called tuberose oh that's so annoying is it the oh lavender lavender uh French lavender and tuberose absolutely delicious has a cacao note in it i absolutely love that perfume i love it and so i was very excited about this one but it just doesn't it just doesn't work on me it's very sad and i definitely 
I definitely get a, a, a woodiness that is too woody for me. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't, I don't like woody perfumes. I don't like peach unless it's done in a very specific way. And um, but I would happily recommend this to other people because you can get it for such a bargain. And if you don't have a problem with wood, if you if you don't if you've never experienced a perfume turning into TCP or antiseptic lotion on your skin, then you will probably be fine with this. Um, but yeah, it didn't work for me. The only one that's worked for me is this one. It's also the one in the best bottle, I would say. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, interestingly here in the video, this one has a slightly pinker look about it. And this one has a kind of whiter look about it. I wonder if that's the juice inside or whether there's a slightly different tone to the white bottle or whether it's just the lighting in my room. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway um yeah so these are the, these are the only ones that i could really get hold of and they're the only ones that interested me to be honest like this one purely just because it was going on about it being a, like a lovely summer beachy perfume and it i'm sorry no no it isn't it definitely isn't it's not liquid sunshine it's a nightmare it's a horrible horrible perfume this one though this one i think is is pretty this one oh my god absolutely run to amazon if you like fruity perfumes if you like a really bright yummy scrummy fruity perfume with a bit of zing to it it's almost like a kind of like a cordial like a syrupy cordial but a bit brighter oh my god i just really i love this every time i sniff it i'm like i should wear that today but you know <laughs> i've got too many perfumes to always wear the same things anyway um yeah so that's my little scent doctor uh collection this is the only one i'm keeping these are going back in the boxes and they will go elsewhere 